In this video, we explore the two microbit units from the Purple Mash computing scheme of work. In these units, children learn how to program a microbit using the free code microbit tool, which can be found alongside the free code resources here in 2Code. Unit 3.10 is aimed at Year 3 children, and Unit 4.11 is aimed at Year 4 children. However, both of these units could be taught with any Key Stage 2 class. Each unit contains four lessons that build on the learning from the previous lesson. So if you did want to teach both of these units with your class, Unit 3.10 would need to be taught first. These units include the lesson plans for each of the four lessons, the prior and future learning links document, which shows how this unit sits within the learning of the other units in the scheme of work, You'll also find the knowledge organizer for this unit, which includes the key learning, key resources, key vocabulary, key images, and key questions for that unit. Alongside the knowledge organizer, you'll find the learning mat, which is a pictorial representation of the main learning in this unit. Underneath the lesson material folders, which we'll dive into in a second, you will find the concept map, which is a brilliant stimulus for class discussion about the learning at the end of this unit, and you'll also find the end of unit quiz, which could be set as an individual to do as part of your assessment at the end of this unit. Within each lesson folder, along with the lesson plan, you'll find the slideshow, which outlines the learning for this lesson. Within the slideshow, there is a video which introduces children to the learning for this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to make a name badge with our microbit. You need to give your microbit instructions to tell it. Followed by a video on how to program the code for this lesson's challenge. These videos can either be watched directly within the slideshow or you can follow the link to YouTube to watch the video. It's useful for children to have had some experience of programming using 2Code prior to teaching this unit. Children will then be familiar with the layout of the code window and the code blocks and should have had experience of dragging and dropping the code blocks into the code window. But rather than having a design screen as in 2Code, in this tool children can test their program on the microbit simulator and debug their code as needed before transferring their code to an actual microbit via the micro USB lead. The videos within the slideshow will show children how to do this. What you will need to teach these units. You will need a set of micro bits and micro USB cables, at least one for every two children. You will also need at least one computer, laptop or desktop for every two children with internet access to Purple Mash. This device will need a USB port to enable the transfer of the program to a micro bit. You will also need a battery pack for each micro bit so that they can be portable. The structure of each lesson is clearly outlined in the slideshows, which include links to free code micro bit so that you can model building and testing the code yourself or watch the step by step videos with the whole class. Ahead of each lesson, you will need to set free code micro bit as a to do for your class so they can quickly access the activity via their to do area. Some children may need additional peer and or teacher support to complete the task successfully. And working in mixed ability pair groupings may help to ensure all pupils are able to participate in each lesson's main activities. Once children have completed the lesson's activities, there is an opportunity to evaluate their program and some extension ideas for those children that are ready for added complexity and challenge. To support your teacher judgments of the children's outcomes in these units, there is an assessment guidance section at the end of the unit plans. Programming oh, with micro bits is so much shit. fun and we hope these lessons oh, will encourage and inspire the programmers in your class. Mm -hmm.